Hello everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today I decided to cover USD versus Japanese Yen. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Japanese Yen first. Um, this is the hourly time frame and um, I spoke about this currency pair in my previous forecast and we can see that this uh, structure is developing very nicely especially after the uh, Kuroda speech and uh, uh, that created lots of volatility and there is a lots of volume uh, which was more like a catalyst for the USDN to um, to develop this structure even further. So we can see here that uh, during the news market uh, sold off uh, exactly into this previous area of resistance which actually became, became today's support at a level of 142.50 and the price rejected very aggressively close near the high so this was like a mini shakeout for the early uh, for the um, uh, european session traders and we can see that there is a potential for the upside and um, most likely scenarios that market can develop to the upside towards the upside reference points at 145.20 we have 145.90 and this high at 146.50 so there is a plenty of potential for the us, US versus japanese yen uh, to go higher Alternative scenario will be, of course, the market will uh, break this whole structure. Let's say the market can um, go lower below 142 and hold below. Then this will be a sign for potential retest of 141 market, uh, 141 price. But so far, as I said, a strong rejection, uh, broken consolidation, and potential for the upside references. Uh, speaking of the gold market, nothing really changed since our uh, uh, previous forecast. So there was a like uh, rejection of this area of uh, previous uh, support, which actually became resistance. So market tried to go higher, but it didn't sustain. So we got um, a downside reaction, so reaction from sellers. And we can see here that we have this, we have a series of the rising lows. So if the market can break this structure downside, let's say if the market can trade below 2014 and then hold below, then there is a chance for rotation back towards 1995 or even all the way down towards 1981. Now for the upside structure, I, was, I would like to see the market to retake 20, uh, 20, uh, 2033. And if market can go higher and even take 2044 and hold above, then there is a chance for the higher prices towards the 2070 mark. So far in the background, so yesterday we got attempt for the market to go into this consolidation, but it didn't hold for too long into this consolidation and the sellers relatively fast reacted. And then we have this price going, uh, you know, back down. So probably the downside scenario is more most likely, but let's see how this price section and structure will develop. So crude oil, uh, we had a strong rally yesterday, actually very, almost vertical move for a couple of hours. Market broke the 72.40 level and it actually went to our um, next upside reference point, which was 74 uh, mark. And this is the area of 74, 74, 20 and this pin bar at 74.80. But we can see there that market actually reacted pretty aggressively and we rotated back and now we're sitting in the previous swing highs area around 72.50. So if the market can go even deeper into this consolidation from here, there is a chance for the market to, uh, to go down towards the 71 mark or 70.50 mark. From other side, if market can reject and then hold, there is a chance for retest of high at 74.34. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, so what happened here is market retested the area of support. So this is the area of around 40,500 mark. There was a rejection there. But from the other side, we also have the resistance area. So we're kind of trading this consolidation. The 43,450 uh, is a resistance and support zone around 40,400 mark. So the upside scenario, something meaningful if the market can clear this area. But I would also like for the market to clear even 45,000 in order to potentially and hold above. Uh, for potentially, you know, to confirm the higher prices towards the 46, 47,000. From the other side, if we, we see this, um, if the market starts to be lower highs and lower lows, 
there is a chance for rotation back and uh, trading back and forth into this consolidation. That will be everything for this update guys, I hope that you did enjoy, have a good trading day and speak to you from tomorrow morning.